Hello, today is Saturday, October 27, the time is 1217. Yesterday I received this package in front of my house. Um, I didn't get a chance to open it yesterday, so I will open it today. And just like what the title says, this is the JDS Labs O2 headphone amplifier as well as the ODAC um, transportable DAC or digital to analog converter. So opening this up we have my invoice as well as some instructions for use and we have some packing material that we don't care about. We have this um, not sure what this is. I think it's the AC adapter. Yeah, so this is the AC adapter for the ODAC. The ODAC is required to be plugged into um, a wall outlet, so it needs to be powered in order for it to work. Here's a 3 foot USB to mini USB connection. That's for the ODAC as well. And so let's take a look at this one first. I believe this is the ODAC. So it comes in this anti-static um, material. Um, let me get my razor blade. Let's get that like that. Yeah, so this is the ODAC. Here's the JDS Labs. Uh, business card. Um, JDS is American based and there's a European based company that makes these same kind of backs and amplifiers. They, um, it's called Epiphany Acoustics and so if you live in Europe you should check out that website. I'll link it in the description below. Um, but all of these DACs and amplifiers are open source. They're based off of the designs made by somebody named NWAV guy. I'll also link his website below and he was basically an electrical engineer and he's trying to develop and produce um, these DACs and amps that are very objective uh, there's no messing around he does not do this for profit um, so he, all he wants is pure audio performance out of these devices and supposedly they compete with uh, other companies other audio companies products that are within the like 200 to 400 dollar range so that's a kind of overview about these products in general so here is the front plate of the ODAC it says objective DAC at the top uh, JDS Labs branding here's the mini USB port that I was talking about this is where your headphones or not your headphones, I'm sorry, this is just a DAC so there's no amplifier. So you need to connect this to an amplifier using a 3.5mm jack connector like this. Then on the back, I purchased this with the RCA jacks and so I have some stereo equipment at home that uses these type of connections and so this is for left and right channels of audio and so you would plug this into your USB to your computer this to your amplifier or you can plug this into your home stereo equipment and then this into an amplifier so that's that this is really small um, in comparison here is my uh, FIO E7 uh, USB DAC and amp so it's about the same size um, this is a brushed aluminum surface if you can't tell just like the E7 as a brushed aluminum surface. This one's a little more rough, if you can hear that, relative to the E7, which is pretty smooth. So that's a thickness comparison. It's about the same thickness, as well as about the same width and height. No, it's a little bit thicker, but height-wise, it's about the same. So there's that. Here's an iPod Touch for comparison, if you guys know what that looks like. Of course, the iPod Touch is going to be much thinner. So there's that. Let's open this other package, which should be the O2 amplifier, or Objective 2. 
So let me get my razor blade again. And we'll cut the top here. All right, so this is, like I said, the Objective 2 um, amplifier. It's transportable, so it's not as small as a smaller portable um, amplifier offered by Theo, um, but it's small enough that it's not considered to be a huge desktop amplifier, but it's not large enough to be considered, or it's, sorry, it's not large enough to be considered a desktop amplifier, but not small enough to be considered truly portable like a Theo product. So this is a transportable device. Here's an iPod Touch for comparison. So it's about the same size on the top, um, length and width wise, but height wise, it's much thicker than the iPod Touch. This is your volume knob. So this is how you adjust your volume. Um, this is where you connect your headphones. Um, no, this is where you connect your headphones. This is where you connect it to your source, such as the ODAC. This is the power button, and this is battery powered, so it runs on batteries, and you can charge the batteries by plugging in a uh, AC adapter here, which can connect to your wall, or you can charge it via USB, I believe. Maybe you can't. Sorry, I this is brand new, and so I haven't really looked through the documents on how to charge it, but I believe you can just use this and plug it into your wall. Um, so there's that. Let's give this a quick try. I heard that this is just plug and play compatible. So I have my MacBook here with Windows 7. Let me just minimize this. This is the Epiphany Acoustics website. So I'm going to plug this into the USB port. So I will use the included 3 foot mini USB adapter that was included. Well, actually, I purchased, no, this is included with the ODAC. The wall adapter is not included, and that was, I think, a $6 purchase. So, let's get this untwisted here. And this one as well. Okay, there's that. Plug the mini USB connection into the mini USB port. Plug the USB into your USB port. And that I have the AC adapter here, which I will untwist and plug into the wall nearby. Oh, and so yeah, Windows 7 automatically tries to install some software, but it failed. It says the USB composite device is ready to use, but the USB input device and USB audio device are not. So I'm not sure that's supposed to happen, but I guess we'll find out because I'm going to plug this in right now. So we plug this. Maybe not. Okay, no, I'm sorry. I'm thinking about the o O2. This is the, this is how you charge the O2. You plug it into here. The ODAC is connected either to your computer or to stereo equipment. Sorry, I'm being stupid. So O2, here's the O2. This is your 3.5 millimeter jack from the ODAC, and you plug it into the 3.5 millimeter connection here to your external amplifier. And I don't want to scratch that, so I won't put it on top of each other, but here's the V-Moda Crossfade M100 headphones from my last video. I will be doing a review on those for my next video after I've listened to it through my ODAC and O2. So plug the headphones into the headphone socket. Turn the O2 on. There's a little LED there that indicates that it's turned on. 
Let's go ahead and play some audio. And that is playing through my speakers. So that didn't completely work. Um, let's try and plug this out and back in. Installing driver software. Okay, now it should be working. It said that your device is ready to use. And that was probably because the first time I didn't plug in the amplifier, so it didn't detect that this was a DAC and the audio was just going through this and not being amplified. So let's try that again. No audio is playing because my volume is really low, so let's turn up the volume. And there we go. So this track is uh, Haunted Candies by uh, Trash80, and I figured this would be an appropriate song since it's almost time for Halloween. Uh oh. So this connection is really finicky. I'm not sure if it's mine or if it's the O2, because the O2's connection, as soon as I wiggle this uh, headphone connection, it changes the sound. Like that. That's kind of weird. Interesting. So. That's the O2 in action, and um, there you go. That's the O2 and ODAC made by JDS Labs. Thanks for watching.